Well, a local barbershop is getting you some tasty barbecue ribs to go with a drive through fundraiser. That's right. Ashley's live uh, from Antelope with the details on how they're grilling and chilling. Are you going to eat too? Heck yeah, girl. We're grilling, we're chilling, and we eating. <laughs> All of the above, guys, hanging out at Uppercuts. Take a look. The event hasn't started just yet. It starts at 11 a.m. But you can come on down and get some good barbecue. But Uppercuts is really known for having their hands on in the community. Now, yes, they do some great haircuts. But they, to Mel, this face here, if you can see behind the glasses and the mask, he is known really for raising money where he can and doing what he can in the community. To Mel, good morning. Good morning, Ash. Hello, hello. Okay, so we're grilling and chilling. Now, usually with this event, this is your third annual. It looks much, this is the fourth annual or third? This is our seventh annual. Oh, seven. Our third year with Campaign One at a Time. Got it. So, so usually this looks a little bit different. What does it usually look like or what did it look like pre-COVID? Uh, typically, we'll be at uh, Gibson Ranch Park. It'll be a festival type setting. We'll have vendors. We'll have uh, entertainment. We have a lot of stuff for the kids, jump houses, all kinds of things that you can imagine just to bring attention to the event. Absolutely. Of course. Really, okay, so really quick, open this up. And as you open this up, Tamel, we are raising money for a nonprofit organization. And what is, what is that organization called? It's campaign one at a time. It's our CEO is my good friend Brody Nicholas. He's been doing this for several years, and it's just a great opportunity for us as a barbershop to support our community and support the causes that they have. Yeah, so we're going to walk this direction as we walk. Tamel, do me a favor and open up this grill here. Now, it's called grilling and chilling, guys, but it is a drive through event, which means come on down, grab yourself a plate of barbecue, and drive off. But of course, say hello to the folks out here. Uh, while doing so, how is everything working in terms of the plates and how much everything costs? Well, we have uh, pre-orders with like $15 for rib plates, but you come down today, the price is going to go up uh, to 20 bucks. We got rib plates, chicken plates, hamburgers and hot dog plates. They all come with barbecue beans, corn on the cob, a side salad, and a dinner roll. Awesome. That sounds so good. Save me a plate. I might come back a little bit later. All right, guys, we're going to walk this direction because we do want to chat with Brody. Brody is behind campaign one at a time and they did something really special usually all the proceeds um, go directly to the nonprofit but this time they thought you know what let's split the proceeds this go around and help out uppercuts because obviously they too are struggling because of obviously what's happening with COVID Brody good morning to you hello how are you guys doing good good so really quick tell me about campaign one at a time what what is it that you all do so campaign one at a time is a nonprofit that was founded in Rockland here in Northern California and we help children battling cancer and other life-threatening illnesses by selling these bracelets and the proceeds going to making some of their biggest dreams come true and giving them support while they're going through treatment. And, and, and for you guys, this is the third year you've teamed up with Uppercuts for, yeah. this, uh, for this big fundraising event. Why was it important to you for this go around to split the proceeds? So earlier this summer, we had to cancel for the first time our big grown and chilling festival. And about a month and a half ago, uh, we, we haven't thrown an event all year. And it just hit me how much Tamel and Uppercuts have done for the community for years and years. And I thought, okay, you know, we're able to start doing the social distancing thing. Let's let's uh, let's team up again, like usual. Downsize it a little bit, but this time I told Tamel, let's split the proceeds. Fifty percent goes to the charity, and fifty percent goes to Uppercuts because they've endured these closures for the last six months. Yeah. And it's just a way, I think, to keep the community striving. And that was really important to me for all they've done for us over the years. I mean, this really is great. Brody, thank you so much for, for sharing so much with us. Now, again, you can grab some barbecue, guys. Come on out. Say hello to the team. And, of course, come on over and do what you can to help out. Campaign one at a time. These super cool sweatshirts and T-shirts. Hold that up really quick, Brody. Yeah. How much are these going for? Because those, those are awesome. Spread good. $50 hoodies and $30 T-shirts. Okay, awesome. They yeah. say spread good. That's exactly what they're doing here in this community in Antelope. Thanks again to Uppercut. Everyone say hello. Everyone's just kind of lingering while we're doing this live shot. But they've been hard at work, guys, making sure this is all set up for the event that starts at 11 o'clock today. Tina and Jordan, back on over to you.